caring for a COVID patient at home, what is the treatment protocol? Hello, I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith, and this is Science in Five, talking about how to care for a patient at home. The treatment protocol for COVID-19 care at home is Dr. Janet Diaz. Welcome, Janet. Thanks for having me uh, on this important session. Janet, please explain the treatment protocol for COVID care at home. So if a patient uh, with COVID-19 is going to be cared for at home, uh, there are a few important things uh, to consider. One is the patient uh, should um, be in isolation, meaning that we don't want that patient to transmit uh, the virus to other people. Number two is uh, you may have a fever. So if you have a fever, you can take uh, symptomatic treatments or antipyretics or drugs that reduce um, fevers to keep you comfortable, um, so that's okay. The third is to eat and drink sufficiently, so make sure you stay hydrated. Uh, make sure that you maintain uh, some eating, good eating habits, eat what you like, uh, but ensure to keep yourself um, well-nourished and well-hydrated. Most patients who get COVID-19 will have no complications uh, from it uh, acutely, may not develop severe pneumonia, may not need to go to the hospital, and that's good. But we do know there are a few patients with mostly those who have risk factors for severe disease. These patients are at risk for developing severe disease. So these patients, if they're being monitored at home, need to be carefully, um, need to carefully uh, watch your symptoms. There's one thing I do want to emphasize. SARS-CoV-2 we know is a virus. So if you have COVID-19, then in patients uh, that are uh, being managed at home, we don't recommend uh, the use of antibiotics. That means medicines that treat bacterial infections because uh, it's a virus infection, so it won't respond to an antibiotic. Janet, we are seeing an increased demand of medicines like remdesivir and also increased appeals for plasma, for plasma therapy in the treatment of COVID-19. Please tell us what the evidence is telling us about the effectiveness of both remdesivir and plasma therapy. At this moment in time, we have a recommendation against the use of remdesivir um, for patients with COVID-19 because there was a low certainty in the evidence that it had any um, benefit in uh, mortality. For convalescent plasma, we don't actually have a recommendation in that guideline uh, specifically yet, but what we do have in the clinical management guideline is also against its use unless under clinical trials, uh, as evidence is accumulating on those interventions. So we also do not recommend its use other than under clinical trials, which um, are continuing and ongoing. Janet, let's talk about oxygen now, how to monitor oxygen at home, what are the red flags, and also please explain the wider red flags beyond oxygen when a person should get alert that now is the time to call your healthcare provider. Remember that all care at home should be done under clinical supervision, which means the decision for when, if you decide to do home care or you decide to be hospitalized, really should be done under the supervision of a healthcare provider according to the national protocols for COVID-19 care pathways. The pulse oximeter uh, can be used at home. Pulse oximeter is a simple device. Um, it can be just, it's a fingertip device that can just be a small device put on your, um, your index finger. Uh, it is uh, relatively inexpensive um, and simple to use. We do have a recommendation saying that if you are at home, and especially if you're from a high risk group, so you're a person that may have the risk of developing severe disease, that monitoring your pulse ox, your oxygen saturation at home, could be useful because you can detect hopefully early, if your oxygen saturation starts to fall, and then get the right uh, intervention and care pathway started. So 94 to 90 is a little bit low. However, it's not below 90%, which is the warning sign. So if your number is 90 to 94, then you have to make sure that you call your clinical provider and you tell them, this is my number, this is how I'm feeling, what should I do? So you can get some advice on what to do next. The warning symptoms, to consider when you're at home are shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. That can imply that you're having a pneumonia and the pneumonia is progressing. Another one is chest pain. That can imply that your pneumonia is there and it's progressing. Another one is change in mental status. 
sometimes that can be like confusion, like your thinking is, is unclear or that you're dizzy or that you're sleepier than usual. Janet, can oxygen therapy be used at home? For an acute case of COVID-19, where we don't know if the pneumonia is gonna be mild, if it's going to be severe, if you're gonna to progress to respiratory failure, that is the concern. So if oxygen is gonna be used at home, it has to be done under a monitored setting, meaning that your clinician under clinical supervision, that it's prescribed to you because oxygen is a medicine. Thank you, Janet. That was Dr. Janet Diaz explaining the protocol for caring for a COVID-19 patient at home. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stick with science.